Right then, well, welcome to another video. We are back out on the bank and you join us up in the Cotswolds on a flooded Hawcott Lakes. Bit of a beautiful setup, mate, but uh, there's quite a bit of water about. There is indeed, yeah. It's very, very damp and the swims we're in at the moment are actually flooded. Now, normally you probably wouldn't want to fish in this situation, but we've seen some fish show, so we thought we've got to get on them, as you do. Um, it's a little bit of a funny setup, to be fair, which we will show you at some point, but where we've had to set the bivvies up is definitely not ideal, mate. No, it's a little bit of an interesting setup, but the light is going, mate. As usual with us, we've chatted for too long, so we better get some rods sorted. Yep. We'll show you the setup in a minute. And uh, yeah, get some rods out, mate. Let's get some rods out. Come on. Come on. Do it. Right, so there is the swim behind me, and as you can see, it's underwater. Now, normally, you'd probably be setting your bivvy up somewhere around here. Obviously, we're not going to be doing that because we're going to have damp feet. But I well, thought I'd spin the camera around and show you how we've had to set the bivvies up because um, it's a little bit interesting. Right, so here's mine then. I've got the SLR just tucked in there, which doesn't look too bad. It's, um, it's just off the path. But you might be able to see just over the back of me on the top bunk... There's someone else, and there he is. There's Hugh, just sat there getting his rig sorted, ready to go. And um, yeah, that is essentially the situation. Because the swims are so wet and underwater, Hugh has had to sit up on the top of the bank there. I'm down there, and the rods are gonna be out in here. So it's not ideal, but unfortunately, it's just the nature of the, the levels of the lakes at the moment. They've all flooded and the fish have been showing out in front of here so we wanted to try and get in here and so we've done the best we can to be fair it's not turned out too bad Hugh although he's on top bunk he's got a nice dry underneath him it's nice and dry whereas I've just got a mud bath so um I don't know who's got the best um best option really but it is what it is anyway let's get some rods fishing and see if we can actually catch one Right, so the rods are out in the pond. We've got three solid bags out each. And the reason we've gone in with the bags is essentially we've seen fish show and as always, location's key. And because we were on them, we didn't want to cause loads of disturbance by leading around trying to find a spot as such. So we thought, you know, stick three solid bags out. It's quite a weedy lake at times. So it just gives us that confidence that we're going to be fishing and presented perfectly. And obviously if a fish comes along, there's a good chance of a bite in there, mate. Yeah, absolutely. We've pl caught plenty of fish on solid bags. And especially oh, yeah. this time of year, it's a, it's a mega tactic. And I'm predicting I'm gonna have one early morning, mate. That's my feelings and my bones. So, yeah. yeah, all right, I'll go for one, don't know, sort of just before getting in a bag would be nice. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll probably already be in a bag, so don't wake me up. <laughs> yeah, but. definitely, yeah. Well, I'm feeling a little bit hungry now, mate. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna it's tuck into I've got time. a lovely lasagna, so looking have forward you? to that. Yeah, I've gone as well. Have you? Yeah, I was wondering why you were so surprised then, but yeah, well, a couple Can't of little panniers a piece then, and uh, I guess we'll uh, fire up the ridge monkeys and get into it, mate. Let's do it. Good morning. So we mentioned we both have lasagnas, but they are a quite different option. So 
One is a uh, January sort of diet special from Kirsty's, and one is a uh, petrol station bought full of flavour as well as all the fats. So uh, we're going to have a little bit of lasagna fun for you and uh, you're going to guess which one is mine. Is it the January diet one or the full of flavour delicious uh, petrol station bought one? So we'll pan the camera around and show you the two options. Right then, so here we are, lasagna off. Comment down below, is Kirsty's health option on the left or the right of the screen? And also, is Sean going for the healthy option or is he going for the full fat, uh, beautiful option? Here are your two contenders. Get some. Nice one. I better sit down. Then. Yeah, go on, you can sit in the mud. Oh, that Del was elegant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Felt that in nice China. One. Yeah. <laughs> Happy days. Good morning. Mm. Cheers. Well, unfortunately, it was a very quiet night for both of us. Um, went into the night, as we said, sort of super confident. We were definitely on fish, and we heard him down there in the night, didn't we? Yeah, definitely. Um, there yeah. was definitely still some in this area, but yeah, just nothing to report. But. It's yeah. weird, isn't it? Because we, we fish solid bags. It's obviously where we saw the fish show. And then there's a guy to our right who was fishing over a bit of bait. Yeah. So we were both kind of doing different tactics. And I really thought one of us would have had some up. But yeah, it's been a blank all round, really. So really odd, isn't it? Yeah, it is, mate. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a shame, isn't it? Yeah, it's a bit disheartening. But still got a few hours. Watch the water for the next couple of hours or so. See what we can see. And um, yeah. at some point during the morning, sort of refreshing the rods up. Definitely. I mean, we've been watching since first light. I mean, I was up before you for a change. Yeah, that makes a change. And um, was what sort of watching the water. I didn't really see anything. So I think all we can do is just keep our eyes on the lake today and hopefully see some shows and maybe have some to move to or at least cast to and, and go from there, innit? Yeah, absolutely, mate. Sounds like a plan. Cool. Slurp these down first. Yep. Cheers. Nice. That's oh, a bit hot. Yeah, it's gorgeous, isn't it? <laughs> That's a bit hot. Proper tongue lip melter. Yeah, nice mate.
Right then, so we've been watching the water for the last couple of hours or so. We have seen some fish. They are sort of drifted out in towards the middle a little bit more, so I've probably got a better chance than Sean, fingers crossed at least. But yeah, we're going to deploy three new bags. I've had these soaking since yesterday, so they've got some hemp oil or some hot hemp oil actually soaking in those bags overnight, so they, yeah, they should be oozing attraction. Fingers crossed, we'll try and chuck these as close towards those showing fish as we can. They are probably just slightly outside of my water, so I can only get as close as I can. And fingers crossed, one of those bags full of attraction is going to pull down one of those carp and we can put one on the map for you. Let's make it happen. Right, well, you've just seen Hugh redoing his rods. I've actually done exactly the same, put three fresh solid bags out. Hopefully that fresh attraction and that oil that we've injected in them will draw in a fish and um, give us that bite. Oh, might have been a bit of a line on Hugh's rod then. Um, so the conditions have actually changed a little bit today. And um, this morning it felt pretty mild. Uh, once the sun come out but it's gone overcast and actually the wind has switched around so yesterday it was going more um, sort of over this direction towards the car park but now it's actually coming straight into the corner that we're in and if I'm honest it is quite a fresh wind I've had to put my other hoodie on to um, try and give myself a bit of warmth to keep that chill off and um, I don't know if that's going to kill it it might push the fish away from where we are I mean they are sort of out more in sort of open water out of our um, sort of boundary to our swim but potentially that might fish uh, might push them even further out because it is pretty nippy and um, at the end of the day fish want to be comfortable don't they so we'll see what happens but um, for the time being um, we're going to fish out the last couple of hours of the session and hopefully one of the rods goes rattling off because we've really tried to get a bite this session and it hasn't happened and it's been quiet all over the lake no one seems to be getting anything so the fish seem really switched off with this sort of influx of water the water is really chocolate coloured as well and um, I think they're probably, they're a bit out of sorts, not really on it. So if we can nick a bite, we're definitely doing a good job. So let's see how it goes. And hopefully we will get a fish to show you before we go home.
Right then, that is the end of the session. We're going to reel the rods in now and get on the road. Unfortunately, it has been a blank and the burrows also are looking a little bit on the heavy side. Going back for that flood, uh, flood water is going to be fun, isn't it, mate? Yeah, it might be slightly emotional, but although it's been a blank, we still enjoyed it and that's what's most important at the end of the day as we try and always push across on the channel. So I guess until next time, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future videos. Follow us on all the social media shown at the bottom of the screen. Screen. And until next time, get out in the bank and be lucky. See you next Tuesday, but I pass six.